Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary and today I'm going to talk about something that if you don't have one of these, you need one of these and here's why. And I know some of you are going to be like, I don't need one of those, but hear me out. All right. So what I'm talking about right here, these two guys, I got two of them and you know what? I'll be honest. I don't use them all that often, but I find them very extremely important to have. And I'm going to tell you why. But before I do that, let me go ahead and tell you what they are if you're not familiar. Most of you, I'm sure, are, so I'll make it quick. They are a firearm lockbox. These are designed for a single firearm. This one here happens to be a combination code, and then you turn the little lever, and... Oh, did I... Let me get the combination back in there. Turn the little lever, and it opens up, and it can hold a single firearm and usually a magazine. So these come in various sizes. You can get um, small ones, you can get large ones. You can see these are two different sizes. This one's a keyed model, and it's the same thing. It's the little bigger one of the two I have. And you can see they're pretty much the same inside and uh, out, with the exception of their color and their locking mechanism. So why am I advocating that you should have one of these well some of you might be thinking well i've got gun safes you know or you know i just put mine in the drawer i don't need one of those well you know that, that's fine that's fine for me personally i have gun safes and i have firearms in a drawer here and there and i don't have them in one of these lock boxes right but my kids are grown up i live by myself right? i don't have a lot of visitors at my house and those who do I don't have to worry about grabbing a firearm. But that is one of the biggest reasons why I think everybody should have one. Because if you're in a situation like mine where you know you get you know you're comfortable with your house and your surroundings, you have most of your stuff locked up, your home defense stuff isn't, uh, it's in drawers or staged somewhere. Um, in the event that you do have somebody visit your home that you know you're uncertain about, you know, you don't want them wandering around or whatever, and I know, I mean that hopefully that's rare, but Having one of these, I can throw one of my guns into this and then put it back in the drawer. And I don't have to worry about them rummaging through a drawer looking for, I don't know, uh, you know, a lighter or something that they go out to smoke and grabbing a gun on accident. That's one of the reasons why I think everybody should have one of these. Is you never know. If somebody comes over to your house, sometimes it's just a precaution. You got, you know, you got one firearm maybe in your nightstand, one somewhere in the kitchen or something like that in a drawer throw it in this. You know what I mean? I know how, you know, most people, uh, well, I, I won't say most people, but in my situation, you know, I wouldn't want to have to unlock something in the event I needed it. But when somebody's visiting, it's that extra protection because ultimately, if something bad happens with that firearm, that responsibility is going to come back on you as the firearm owner and the owner of the house. So that's one of the reasons I think it's very important to have one of these. Another reason too is if you do have kids, you know, young ones at home and they haven't been fully integrated into firearm safety yet because of their age or whatever. And you do have a firearm in the nightstand for home protection or maybe one in the closet. One of these is great for protecting your family from an inadvertent incident. Something you don't have to deal with. And you can buy these in models that will mount on a wall. And there you go, you put your firearm in it or, you know, mount it underneath something or on top of something, whatever. Um, you know, you, like I said, you can get the key or the combination code. They also have the digital fingerprint models for a little bit more. Both of these happen to be around $20. You know, that extra protection is there. And you have your home defense firearm isolated maybe from the rest of your uh you know, firearms that you have maybe in a larger safe. Because, let's just be honest, you're going to want your personal protection as close as you can to you. So this may be in a nightstand or in your closet, whereas the rest of your firearms are maybe across the house in a study or a den or whatever. And so with the youngins around, this comes in very handy. Now those are pretty obvious ones, um, but I'm going to go over some more. And and before I do, I want to, I want to talk about all of these, well, the two I have, and most of them come with some type of tethering device. And you can tether these things 
by putting one end through this hole right here and then wrapping the other end around something and you lap it well you wrap it around something and back through itself and then close it with one end in the hole and then that way if somebody comes and tries to take it right they, they they're gonna have to break whatever it's wrapped around first uh, before they can take this and then they're still gonna have to drill out the lock and get to the firearm but the reason I wanted to mention that tether is this is great for your vehicle right let's say you have a carry firearm and you want that backup firearm in your car just in case well this thing right here you can put that tether let's say you're gonna put your you put your backup firearm in this and slide it under the car seat putting that tether on it one will help it from sliding around and two help it if you have passengers from rummaging through it if it pops out in the back seat and they're back there you know having it locked they'll be like what's this and you'll just like kick it back under the seat and leave it alone it's that extra protection and it'll protect your firearm while it's sitting underneath the car seat for you and, and keep it from bouncing all around the place and all that um, the other thing is you can put it in your trunk and have it at where your backup is and it's in a nice little stored case uh, and you can tether it so it doesn't fly all over the place you know when you hit the brakes because that idiot jumped in front of you that wasn't using this blinker or her blinker I'm not you know but <laughs> anyhow <clears throat> they're, they're just there's so many reasons to have one of these and like I said I don't use mine all that often I don't but I have two of them because I know there are times where it would be very beneficial to have these you know another thing too just leave an empty one in your car right just leave an empty one in your car you might like, why well let's say you're carrying and you go somewhere where you're not allowed to carry you know I don't know why you would but you know anyhow <laughs> but what's that you do you go somewhere where you're not allowed to carry right well many of you probably have done the same thing I did and just threw it in the center console boom shut the center console shut the door and lock it right well I mean depending on when you're parking if somebody breaks in they now have access to your weapon but if you have it in one of these underneath the the seat or maybe in the trunk somebody breaks into your car they're not gonna have instant access to your firearm so that's another reason to have one of these just sitting in your car um, you know I would prefer if I'm gonna have it in my car the digital code one actually most of the time I would prefer this little this little rotary dial code um, but I I did pick up this keyed one because it's a little bit bigger and for my nightstand firearm this does a lot better and I can put two magazines in it with you know on top of the one that's uh, in my uh in my firearm which just so y'all know that's my glock 17 so i can fit my glock 17 in here and two spare mags all good to go this one here uh a little smaller it will fit my glock 17 it gets really tight if i try to put two spare magazines in there uh but i really picked this up for my glock 43 to uh um, accommodate my glock 43 and the 10 round mags i've started to use and if you haven't uh checked out my video on those 10 round mags feel free to go through my videos and find it it wasn't too long ago maybe a month ago uh, I did a video on pro mags 10 round mags for your Glock 43 so yes but these things can make a difference so don't write them off you know and I know a lot of you are probably sitting like well duh <clears throat> but there's a lot of people who, who who just maybe haven't even thought of it and uh, you know are a little worried and remember this is adding extra protection too. You might end up in a situation where, let's say you go visit some friends and you have your carry firearm with you. And let's say everybody decides, hey, you know what? Let's play some cards and everybody's gonna have, have a few drinks, right? Well, you're like, I'm carrying. I'm gonna be responsible. Walk out to your car, put your firearm in this, go back inside, right? I'm gonna recommend though, if you get drunk, stay there, don't go back out to your car. Do not get a DUI. That is not that's not that's not responsible behavior. But if in the event you do sue something stupid and you get pulled over with a DUI and you don't have your firearm on you because you put it in a lockbox, you might save yourself an extra fine and have some court fees by that. Now I'm not advocating any of that. I'm just saying situations will arise if you have this in your car it can help you out you know just I, I can't talk them up enough you know have one 
have two. I have two. And like I said, I don't use them very often, but I have them. And when I do use them, I am extremely glad, uh, glad I have them. So, anyhow, that's my little short video on these things. And uh, I, I'm doing it because, you know, I, I've been asked a couple questions on these. And I said, you know what, I'll just do a quick video. Now, there's very... Uh, there's a number of types of small boxes you can get. Like I said, you can get the one with the key codes and all that. It just goes up in price. You can get one that are designed to hold guns in a row, whatever. I I, I don't need any of those. I just want a single firearm holding uh, can with a lid, basically. And like I said, this little one here, great for your backup. Throw it underneath your uh, car seat. Use the uh, the the, uh, the lanyard cord that came with it. Wrap it around the uh, where the seat mounts to your uh, to your car frame. And uh, maybe do a couple wraps. It won't slide around. It'll be there. Nobody's going to pick it up and open it up because it's locked. You know. So if you have passengers, you're safe. You're good to go. I would recommend getting one of these. And those are my reasons why. And I'm sure there's a ton of other reasons why. You can put, you know, put a firearm in this. Put it in your backpack while you're going camping. That way, if you set your backpack down and maybe you got a fishing pole and you're going to go fishing and you're going to leave your backpack back at camp. You can have your firearm on in one of these. So that way if somebody comes wandering up, they're not going to get access to your firearm. You know, they wander up and rummage through your crap, take all your stuff. Well, they're not going to be able to come and use this against you. So like I said, there's probably dozens of reasons why to have one. If you know of one that I didn't mention, by all means, put it in the comments section. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about, I posted a... Uh, like on my communities tab on uh, YouTube, and I posted on my Instagram uh, some pictures of these 50 BMG aluminum, solid aluminum, 50 BMG, um, yeah, decorative bullets. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I have a colleague uh, that I work with, and he has his, kind of his own machine shop and stuff like that. And one day I asked him, I said, could you make a 50 BMG a uh, bullet out of uh, out of aluminum. He's like, well, I don't see why not. I just gotta get the, the print for it and and put it in the, uh, the the machine and see if it makes it. And I said, hmm. So I commissioned him to make me some, and he ordered a I think it was a three foot stick of seven eighths solid aluminum, and he was able to make me six of these guys. So <laughs> I tell you what, let me see if I can get a close up. There you go. They're really really nice. Yeah, they got the little, yep. I was thinking, you know, of making them snap caps, but then I'd have to drill out the primer hole and put something in there. But I'm like, who's going to need a 50 BMG snap cap, right? So, <laughs> if you need one, let me know. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> so here they are. Let me know what you think. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Uh, I'm thinking about getting them maybe Cerakoted, um, you know, where we Cerakote uh, the, 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 what would be the bullet one color and then the brass, what would be the brass another color. Uh, I've been thinking about stenciling them. I don't know. There is just a ton of things I could do with these. And I got six of them now. So, uh, and he can make me more. And I've actually uh, asked him to look into finding prints for other calibers to make in solid, of, uh, solid aluminum. So, uh, yeah. There they are. And I actually, like I said, I got six of these guys. So, let me know your thoughts. And if you have any ideas on what I could do with these things, let me know. Because they're so awesome. They're so awesome. Ooh, you know what? I put little hooks on them. They could be tree ornaments. Look at that. Christmas is coming up. All right. All right. That's all I got. Um, just a quick video today. I uh, hope you enjoy your weekend. And uh, like I said, put a comment in the comment section on those small lock boxes. If you have a use for them that I didn't mention, by all means, put it down there. Because I think they're great. I think they're a good fail safe for around $20 to have. And yeah, that's my opinion. Those are my reasons why you should have one. And thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Check out my Instagram page. You can see photos of anything coming up in future videos. And I'll talk to y'all later.